Hello, my name is Tony Griffin. Welcome to part three of the series on communication and relationships. This week, we will discuss the scenario of Val and Paul. Val and Paul are going through a rough patch. They have tr they are having trouble understanding each other's emotions and needs. When conversations occur, they are both on the defense. For instance, Val will say, Paul, I feel neglected when you spend so much time on your game. And, and in response, Paul will say defensively, you are always trying to control me. I don't say anything to you when you're watching your Nigerian movies on your phone. And then Val will respond defensively by saying, I watch my movies because you're on your game all day. According to McCormick and Morrison, people who communicate defensively dismiss the validity of what another person has said. They also refuse to make internal attributions about their own behavior, especially when they are at fault. They focus their responses away from themselves and on the other person. Val and Paul often misinterpret each other's message and end up feeling frustrated. This misinterpretation leads to arguments and hurt feelings, when in reality, the first one was simply expressing the need for more quality time together. According to Yo and Noise, research has demonstrated that individuals' constructive responses to their person to their partner's negative emotions to conflict have consequences for relationships. Satisfaction. To be able to constructively respond during conflicts with their romantic partners, they need to understand that their partner's feelings during the conflict as well as their perception of the conflict. The disconnect in Val and Paul's relationship was gradual process that resulted from lack of effective communication, growing misunderstandings and unaddressed emotional needs. Over time, these factors contribute to the disconnect between them. When it comes to resolving misunderstandings, improving miscommunication in relationships, understanding context, emotions, and actively listening are the key. To help improve the disconnect in their relationship, I would advise them to consider each other's backgrounds, personalities, worldviews, and cultural influences. This understanding can shed light on a communication style and expectation. They should create a, self, a safe space for open and honest expression of emotions Encourage each other to share feelings without judgment or defensiveness. Practice active listening by giving your full attention and maintaining eye contact and responding empathetically. Summarize what the other person has said to ensure understanding. Recognize that different perspectives exist. Be open to learning from each other's viewpoints and find a common ground. Validate each other's emotions and experiences. Show empathy by putting yourself in the other's shoes and understanding the other's feeling. Be respectful in your communication. Avoid personal attacks or dismissive behavior. Treat others with kindness and understanding and respect. In conclusion, by considering the context, emotions, and actively listening, we can foster understanding, empathy, and a stronger connection in our relationships. Let's strive for open communication, respect, and validation. This brings us to the end of our vlog today. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next week. Thank you, and have a good night.